this. Either they are crazy or they are prepared for it. I want to wish it was the latter. Well, it's all come down to this. We will find the answer and they will have to live with the consequences. And I'm not sure who we're talking about, Echo or Blacklist, but here we go. <laughs> Game number two, match point for our M3 world champions. Are they finishing the season on top of the leaderboards? Look at this. Yaoi putting up a line between Blacklist, Potential Invade, and Carl Teasy. Rather slow take on that purple for Carl. It's true. Uh, despite how many people they threw in that area, it actually is looking slow. Still can't get over the fact that they would batten out Rafaela over in Estes at this point, but yeah, we can talk about the, the ins and outs of that later on, especially when we see how it plays out. And I always say, like, you're only crazy if you give the Estes to Blacklist International twice in the series, especially after losing the first Thorn. The team that did it also lost against Blacklist International in uh -huh. Season 8. Could possibly be Echo learning on the fly. Like, if they want to learn from their lesson in Game 1, they want to execute and practice immediately. I'd this like this, this could be an approach. Maybe yep. they saw something in that game that we didn't, right? Yeah. Hey, who knows? And like I said, Estes is a anti-face-to-face -face kind of hero because uh, y you're you're healing everyone <laughs> like literally yeah and what, what you want when a face-to-face -face approach is to burst out the frontliner and then uh, take it from there take the fight from there good luck taking out the bats this time especially with appealing from eve support from the estes of course the damage eventually that can come from oh because what what will happen is that there will be a back I think you're understanding what I'm trying to say, right? I'm already envisioning what the team fight will be for Blacklist International. Yeah, when they and hit those exactly level good. four. It's exactly. And it's very similar to game one. Exactly. Oh, God. You don't have to imagine, folks. Just scrub back a little, but wait. The turtle oh, already started here. <laughs> Look at that. Turtle's half already. Wise is going for the Daytona's welcome. On to Yowie. <laughs> Interestingly enough, all my Venus goes down, and the turtle goes over to Haji. Oh off no, to, Sanji. Right. Off to a different start already because first blood drawn by Echo, turtle secured by Echo, and they're looking to punish the king! And they can't do that without the Estes. Look at Wise, he is just running for it. Yeah. Sometimes you want to go for the damage dealer, which is the Claude in, in some, or the Eve, for example. But this time you want to go for the support, the head of the, 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 the trade, at least for Blacklist International. And they have found, oh my Venus, that's the reason why they got it. Carl TZ just played it so well because it's one thing to kill off one uh, another hero, it's another to take the turtle. He did both. Exactly. Almost simultaneously. Multitasking. Wow. Birthday buff, y'all. Yep. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're seeing a different flavor, obviously, from Echo because of that. Interestingly enough, Oh My Venus not even going for the Purify, not afraid of the Wild Charge at all from Yaoi, which is uh, something that could disrupt the team fights later on, so keep that in mind. Okay, I want to share something here. Yes, please. Uh, Robert de Guzman, um, Berto, if yeah. you will, our Midnight. Yes. He likes uh, Carl Tizi so much, mm -hmm. but he hates the tag Benedetta as much. Is he what he's out doing? <laughs> is this is what it is? Can confirm. <laughs> Can confirm. He's building up to a utility Benedetta. So what is going to happen here if it's the world ending tonight? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. This is definitely going to grind his gears, oh, folks. Yeah, Unless it, it works. <laughs> Unless it works. <laughs> so keep an eye out on Carl Tizi, but so far, so good. Again, four minutes into this game, Echo scored a turtle, and they are up a kill on at least first blood counts. Mm -hmm. So this Benedetta has to really come in clutch. So it's either high praise or hell half fury. Yes. <laughs> Later on for Mr. <laughs> Robert de Guzman. Watch out. I am so excited to see the post game <laughs> match on it. I'm Look. excited to just walk into the locker room and see what he has to say. <laughs> here we go. Turtle already started. All right. Turtle is here. There goes. The real world from Sanji, oh, and a star. it's a beautiful star right there in Dan, but oh. we'll go over the blacklist this time. Look at Ohem, so confident. Oh my goodness. Kill one just marching on through the members of Echo. Whoa, that was like a show of force right there for blacklist. Oh, when Ohem is happy, agents are happy because blacklist is winning. That's exactly. what's happening here. And he's gonna be so happy in this game because of so much state that can come up from Omi Venus. I just saw that. There is a world where if you if you form your bubble as Blacklist International, your Ube bubble, mm -hmm. Ohem can pop the BMI into the lineup of Echo without breaking the heal from the from the Estes. Whoa. 
So Amazing. you saw that earlier on. It happened. It happened. Yeah. Alright, scrub back. Maybe try that in your ranked games. Mm -hmm. But here right now, can confirm. Look at that. Benedetta on Carlt Easy. It's got a casual Dreadnought armor, a casual Molten Essence. Yes, Robert, it's happening. It's it happening, is Robert. happening. The tank Benedetta. Just to see if he can sustain against the power of the Bagats. But they definitely need Sanji Ooh. to Sanji! do good! Oh, oh! Got caught by Daytona's welcome! Poor. Even catches the stun on the Carl Teasy! The Benedetta! It's his birthday! Oh man, not the kind of cake that I wanted. Oh wow. That was so unfortunate because he actually thought that he's already out of range with his dash, but with uh, you know the tip of the circle of the Daytona's welcome was enough to tip of the topple him down. Yeah, exactly. Tip of the tongue moment. And then he went for the ultimate or the Eve the stolen reward manipulation from some shields. And then there was a little bit of disconnection in the next He actually walked into the stun of the Daytona's welcome. Yeah, that was uh, that was weird for me as well. <laughs> Look at this. They oh. try to go and catch that Mendetta, but again, very slippery hero. Yep. Can't expect that much from there, but it is good setup for the next turtle. All right, much the chagrin of our good friend, the analyst uh, <laughs> up top. The Carlton would not be able to do that if it was a pure damage Benedetta. Correct. So forcing out objectives like this <laughs> might be key to Echo sustaining and surviving and eventually getting oh the boy. game three. Look at this, Wise. Oh. I don't think he has retribution. Uh, he does. All right, they go for a fight. Sanford's low. Oh. Wise still gets the turtle. Oh my goodness. Edward with the advantage that he has with the Dyra takes out the Esmeralda. Sanji slow down. Yowie's in front. There goes the squares. But we'll be able to walk Ooh. on out of there. And look at Kiel one Look at OM. He's just threatening. Dare me. I double dare you to dare me to pull this old. I will do it. And they're pushing him back. Yeah, they're getting Yowie very low. That goes turret number one in the mid. This oh. is deja vu. This is looking like game one all over again. Wow. He dared to give the Estes. And now, like I always say, be careful what you wish for. Edward. Already has got the uh, natural advantage versus the Esmeralda. And with this Estes, you see how he jumps in front of anyone no from Echo. Cap. It's exactly. happening! There it goes again. Cancel on the Daytona's welcome. Oh, look at that. Oh, my Venus is down. Oh. But, oh, well, he's doing good damage. Carl TZ will be taken out as well. Here comes oh, the squares. No. It is so weirdly angled. Oh. Here's the Edward. Mr. Balboa himself. And Sanji goes down, chasing Wise. Aumon Jing Jing coming in at the perfect angle, surprising Sanji too. Could have clutch. sworn oh. that Echo was gonna win that fight, but we forgot. Blacklist, we're still missing some members and they come in in the nick of time. Superhero entrance for that huge swing. 5k almost ahead, eight minutes in. And they're not sloppy, look at Edward. He's level 10. Agent Zero already has got his war access was the dominance ice, which means that he does not care at all. Esmeralda is almost nothing to him. It's almost like paper to him. Almost like food. Memory foam! Exactly! Sheesh. And Benicuti, when he went and tried to go for a kill, so much damage can be expected coming out from Benicuti, especially with the Demon Hunter Sword and the Wind Tucker already. It's dealing damage with the Phantom Step, the extra attack that you get, but the presence of Haji makes it so that Benicuti, after just one Phantom Step, it's almost difficult for him to get into another target. There's so many slows and utilities from Blacklist International that stops Benicuti from being a typhoon in this game. So hard to build up that store. No, Carl. Carl Teasy goes for the steal, will be failing as it will be secured by Ed Wise here from Blacklist. Thou shall not scorn the king, not like this. Oh, dude, look at this. Revenge almost isn't. He's gonna try to take the purple away from Carl Teasy. Wow, that's a huge punish. And I think it can work. Can he? Okay, wow. he'll miss on Daytona's welcome. Has a lot of tools to cancel that out. Perfect alley you pass to the MVP machine. Look, he gave it over to Haji. Yeah, beautifully done. That's like a good teammate. It. Like yeah. a good teammate. Now it makes even it make the real world situation even more spammable and even more sustainable. The is Ube is here. Empowered. Uh, this is it for level one Lord rather? It's gonna be taken care of very easily by Echo. But Blacklist is gonna try to get some damage in. Able to clear out those minion waves at least for now, but Echo will defend. Again, another thing you buy with the way Carl Tizzi built that Benedetta. He can go in through the waves, clear it very quickly, and get out alive. So at least this is keeping them yes. still in the game. 
still, as, as they're down 7k, you're hoping for something of a miracle from Echo. Yeah, they're just trying to focus on staying on the map, basically. It's an inside-based defense, definitely, that they that they could win. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Like, they're not catching anybody off guard. Yep. Yeah, meanwhile, the rest of Blacklist are knocking on these inhibitor turrets, blocking out those whole defenses. Oh my. I can imagine, like, this, uh... Uh, Obi-Wan Anakin moment where Midnight is just saying, you were the chosen one, <laughs> Carl TZ. <sighs> you were supposed to be You're them that choice them. <laughs> oh. so there it goes. goes. Four items onto the uh, quad here. That means yeah. that's a lot of damage and the Hunter Strike completed on Edward. That's it. This is Ooh. all Edward needs right now. That's Spike. Exactly. This is all he needs for the next, what, five minutes? Because that's how far ahead Blacklist right. is. Everything else is just a bonus. All right, Carl Tizi picks up that uh, antique Keras. Uh, he's saving himself from a little bit of Edward, a little bit of Oheb. But else? everything else is just gravy for Blacklist. And, and Echo needs to activate Benny Cutie as soon as possible. Now, there's uh, the Wind of Nature picked up, but that doesn't help him against Haji. Mm. Haji, who picked up, by the way, he went offensive this time. Typically, you go something like a brute force breastplate after a challenge has man, but knowing that he can dish out so much damage, he went in for Ice Queen 1 for extra um, slows, and of course, the glowing one, oh. which is the real deal breaker here. Yummy. It's it's now halfway a genius one, folks. Exactly. The way that it was buffed in the last patch. And exactly. basically, what Haji is saying here is, I'm taking no prisoners. Yep. Yeah, he's going to burn like heck. Yep. yep. We extended a day to broadcast. I was expecting the day to be my day off. Yeah. Let's go home early. Blacklist wants to finish the season in top spot. Yeah, and all that stands in their way is the tank Benedetta from Carl TZ. There's still a chance. <laughs> I, I, still a chance as, much, as much as our good friend hates it, I still think it can come in clutch. Ooh, I still Carl? do. Yeah, Carl is in a good position to go for that backdoor attack. Oh, it's a pincer. The rest of Blacklist are aware of this. Why is he holding on steady? Edward, he dives in. He's got that dire off spam. He's got that damage output. And again, Hunter's Strike completed means that this Dire Off will hurt. But Echo being very careful. Yeah, Benny is so patient. He cleared that Ooh. wave, picked up an orange, and oh. Good damage on the alley. He's low. It's going to be hard for him to re-engage here. Watch Edward might, might catch Carl. Yeah, he could go for a catch here. And again, busy dealing with the Dire Off. Means it's so hard to get near that Lord. Look at Carl Teasy, he's struggling. And that's three people on Fuckless <laughs> trying to catch him off guard. Nope. Forces out the Electo final blow and make an Echo retreat, denying them the contest. Blacklist scores a Luminous Lord. Huge, huge win there for Blacklist in terms of controlling the map. And not even a chance for the side of Echo. Promising hold of the, those bushes there, the Kramer on the bottom side, as well as the that longer bush. And of course, the Lord Dance could have been uh, easier, easily uh, held by Blacklist oh, International, oh, oh. but oh. additional oh. spice, the Echo Special. <laughs> the Echo Special, they see Ohad. Oh, oh. oh one charge in the wall! Yeah. They get taken out by Sanford! So that's their Hail Mary play. We've seen Echo do this before. Yep. Can they convert though? Can they get something else besides just this pickoff? That's damage removed from Blacklist, but will it be able to defend against the Wrath? Of Haji, Edward, and Wise on the bottom side. Look at Yowie! Yowie chasing no, on the he queen. Doesn't have the ultimate. Yeah. He doesn't, though. He, he doesn't. doesn't. That's yeah. true. All right. So for now, two inhibitors down. Yeah. That's the best that Echo could afford for. That is actually equally good because had it not been that they weren't able to kill, kill off Oheb, they could have they could have lost more than two turrets. Hell, even Blacklist International could have uh, taken the game because. The, the Ubi bubble can really burst down this base easily and sustain themselves because what they need, what they should, what they only needed to do is just literally be in front of the base building. But instead, because of that echo play, we have, oh. they live to see another day. And for Mr. Vinuya, run! Get some movement from the Frost Moon Shield. Able to walk on out of there. We see Blacklist invading the jungle of Echo right now. Yeah, we. Oh. Nope. No, no. Carl Teasy. <laughs> He's gonna walk on out there, Yaoi yeah, with the Guardian's Barrier, Very try to slow. stop these minions, but the damage from Ohem is just tearing through his health right now. There goes the inhibitor turret. It's a bare base. Blacklist happy with this outcome. A minute until the next Lord, they can just bide their time. It's still Echo, who's on the, def who's on the defensive this whole game. I can see that even just Haji 
Give me the divine glaive, by the way. So this is not a defensive and slash, slash peel kind of Eve. This is this is a, a nuclear warhead. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> pure chaos and damage output for days. Just down to the uh, atom. Yes, Haji aims to decimate you. So uh, even a cockroach would have to pray that he survives Haji's wrath. Yeah. But that being said, look at this. Carl Teasy living on a prayer, trying to make a miracle, trying to split push this tier one down bottom. The king uh -huh. sniffs something. Shenanigans are afoot. He smells something. He hasn't seen Carl Teasy in a while here. I wonder why this is the move from Carl Teasy. It's not like he can get a solo kill. And he kinda, they kind of need to double down. Yao and Benny, maybe they can get kills, but Carl Teasy just overstaying in there. Does not really achieve anything. Not much. Yeah, this is near Yelly Haze oh. levels of patience, but to no avail. Watch out. There's Yowie. Oh! Oh, he misses okay. on the no flicker wild charge. That's a big problem. Moab dives in. No wild charge. He's not going to go for days here. Gets good damage onto Echo. And Blacklist, they're on the chase. There goes the real world manipulation. Slows down Sanford. Oh. Flies away. Side step dodge. Oh. Sanford could have definitely died oh. there in the hands of Agent Zero, but now it's just the three left to defend. And the blacklist, they've oh. got some minions. Oh my goodness, with the recall. Oh, boy. a rare sight. Here we go. There it goes, the blacklist squad, and they sweep a goal. History is not going to change tonight, folks. Blacks International making good on their promise. They have yet to lose to the same team twice. They sweep Echo tonight and ends the season on top. A First place for the fans. And the first time in my professional career. Oh my Venus, recalled. Recalled in front of an <laughs> in enemy. In front of an enemy when the game has not ended yet.